Hello people of YouTube and welcome to the monthly review of what I think I've decided to call August even though there's also a bit of September in here. This whole monthly review concept has kind of fallen apart because it's not monthly and the spread of content is definitely not equally balanced over the months that a single monthly review is taking place during. I don't know why we're still calling them monthly reviews but I guess for tradition's sake here we are. This one was a good one though like look over there it's Ailey. I hadn't seen her in a ridiculously long time and she came to visit last month which was very lovely but we'll get to that in a second. Ailey wasn't the only one who came, Frank was also here and Frank did the ridiculous thing of riding up from the Netherlands on his motorcycle. It took him three days to ride up here, three days to ride back down and he was here for eight days in between I think and in preparation of the arrival of both of them I did a little explore on my own motorcycle in the area to see if I could find a place to go camping with the four of us. In the end we didn't actually go camping we went to a cabin in Sweden just an hour and a half away from here which was lovely but the dirt road exploration was very much worth it as well because I explored a part of this road before but not the branch you are watching me go down right now and it was absolutely gorgeous. Next spring I really want to return here for actual camping with Signa, with Saga, possibly with anyone else who wants to join because there were fields and meadows right by the water, it was quiet, it was just delightful. I want to go back, I want to set up a tent. Unfortunately at the moment I'm filming right now it is October the 10th, it is stormy, autumnal, unpleasant outside. I don't think we're gonna do any more camping in 2022. Anyway, a week or two after this little dirt road exploration situation, I went to the airport and picked up Ailey. What are your first impressions of Trondheim? It is pretty and it looks a bit like the Black Isle in Scotland. And what are your thoughts? It's colder than I expected and the roads are really fun. And, uh, the company too. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's very sweet. What are your first impressions of Trondheim? <laughs> my impression is that my cake has cardboard around it for some reason. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Like I mentioned earlier, Frank was here on his motorcycle. So of course we had to do some motorcycling together. And on the other side of the city, there is an area called B. Olsen, which is just stunning. And I'd never been there before. It's all farmlands. It's very calm and rural feeling, even though you are just about 20 minutes from Trondheim center. And it was so worth it riding down together. Unfortunately in this footage you can't see Frank because there's a sort of it's not even an unwritten rule but it's a smart thing to do when you're motorcycling with two or more people. The slowest goes in front. I am by far the least experienced and my motorcycle is significantly slower than Frank's. So here we are exploring the Olsen with me in the front just before we dropped off the road and headed down to a little pebble beach and had our instant noodles for lunch. It was delightful.
Can you tell the people of YouTube where we are? We are at a cabin. Okay, where? In Stuart. Okay, where is Stuart Leon? In Sweden. This is a great interview. I'm loving the depth I'm getting. And whose cabin are we at? My aunt's. Great. <laughs> Two syllable answers all the way through. Keep going. <laughs> um, Ask her more questions. <laughs> how, uh, how far is it to Sturlian from where we live? Not very far. That, that was an extra syllable, how yeah, dare you? Two syllable challenge. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Good, I'm very happy about this, thank you. <laughs> Bacon jam. What's gaat er in bacon jam? Bacon. In jam? Nee. Oh, ja. Ui, peper, knoflook, koffie. Waar is de koffie goed voor? Geen idee. Lekker. <laughs> Het doet vast iets met de smaak. Mm -hmm. Alle recepten vragen om koffie. Koffie het is. Koffie het is. Kun je nog iets? Whisky? Whisky! Ja. En je hebt black garlic gekocht, dat is een experiment. Ja, en we hebben geen wijs gehad, dus alles gaat een beetje. Op de Amerikaanse manier, volumetric. Ja, ik denk meer op, de, op mijn manier. Hm. Gewoon alles eyeballen. Ik ben benieuwd. Ik ook. I've been borrowing a drone from work last month, a DJI Mavic Pro, one of the first generation ones. It's been fun. Unfortunately, the camera on it is really very first generation and that's putting it gently. But it's been really cool to get some aerial shots for the monthly reviews for the first time ever. And naturally, I really would like to have a drone for myself, but I think that is so far down the priority list that I won't be getting one. I have to put up with this really rather grainy and over sharpened footage for the foreseeable future. But hey, a drone is a drone, it's fun to have. And the footage is so different from what I'd be able to get otherwise. So even though the quality is mediocre at best, I've really been enjoying borrowing it and flying it around a bit.
I said last month that this location, Hilvanet, was going to make more appearances and has made appearances in almost every monthly review of this year, which wasn't entirely intentional, but Hilvanet is just a lovely, secluded but super close to our house place. So it's very nice to go out and feel like you are in the middle of nowhere while you're just a five minute drive from home. So with a sunset over Hilvanet and some delicious, delicious hot dogs, this is going to do it for the monthly review of August 2022. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to push on the positive buttons down below and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.